So now with the sky replacement feature, you can take your drab images and add whatever skies that you want. It'll mask out for you automatically and it lets you explore very quickly between all the different new packs that are wildly free and you can import your very own personal images. Yes! So first I always like to hit Command or Control J just to duplicate my layer. So I always have a, the original to go back and take a look at. So this shot, it's a little crooked and obviously if I'm using this for promotional material it looked kind of drab because it was kind of a drab overcast kind of a, a gray day. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to filter camera raw filter. I'm going to go over to the geometry tab and I'm just going to say hey could you straighten that up automatically. Looks great. Go back to the basic tab and as we're looking at this I'm thinking you know let's just go ahead and, and give it a little bit of a, a, a brightening from right here a touch of clarity and a little more vibrance. I'm going to click OK and that's where I'm starting to work. Now I want to replace that sky. So I go over to edit, down to sky replacement, and I need to find a happy sky. How's that one? Pretty nice, that's pretty bright. The way to get rid of this little mini dialog box is just click on the background, see how that worked? Now if I pull the lighting adjustment all the way over, it's gonna really contaminate my subject because it wants to blend in the color of the sky with the subject. I don't want that. I want there to be a nice separation. So I'm gonna pull the lighting adjustment the other way. Same with the color adjustment, pull the lighting adjustment back just a little and I'll click okay. And what it's gonna do, if you've used this filter before, is it puts all the masks and all the adjustments inside of a folder called sky replacement group. I'll toggle that down so it's not so cluttered. Take a look. Overall, I'd say it did a pretty good job putting in that nice brighter sky. I think what I would want to do though, is while I'm on this layer, is I would go ahead and go over to the object selection tool, see how it's looking. Let's see if it finds the castle. It found the castle, at least most of it. So I'm gonna hit uh, the shift key and select the parts that it didn't select. And I'll toggle over to select and mask just to refine that selection a little bit. With the second brush, which is the refine edge brush, that allows me to like get this little bit of right bracket key to make my brush bigger. Get this little bit of sky that's inside here. Get this little bit of sky here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is not a selection video, but I just doing some basic tweaking. I'll go ahead and paint over all this to let it figure out what's the sky and what's the, the bush. That'll be good enough. I'm gonna output with a new layer with layer mask, turn this back on, and I'm gonna pull this above the sky replacement group. See how that made them just a little brighter. So now I can make that sky a little brighter, something like that. And I can still tweak this guy. And what I think I would do is quite honestly, is I go to filter stylize down to oil paint, just to break up a little bit of the detail, which will then allow me to go in and just pull the saturation up just a touch. Because remember, this is a Disney Magic Kingdom. I'll Command Option Shift Letter E to push all those adjustments to the very, very top layer. I'll go over to Filter, Camera Raw, and just make some last tweaks. Open up the shadows. Again, make sure it's bright and kind of glowy, like an illustration, and click OK. You see how you can quickly replace the sky. So let's switch to this image. And I want to replace the sky, but let me show you a different thing that wasn't available until 2022. Click on Sky Replacement. Come down to, and this is amazing, click on the gear icon and choose Get More Skies. Adobe set it up so you can download a whole new sky pack than you've had for the past year. Download free skies. Ready? It's going to take me to the Adobe Creative Cloud Marketplace where there's free assets. You can watch this video to learn how to add skies to your collection that you can swap out whenever you want. There's a whole collection of sunsets. There's a whole new spectacular one. There's night skies even, which is a whole new category. There's blue skies and there's storms. So let's play Adobe's video. Once you've activated the find sky replacement, you click on that gear icon, you get a choice and you just click get more skies and then download them. It takes you to a website and you get to download all of them for free, which is amazing. Then you just go back to that gear icon and this, this time you just choose get more skies, but import presets, or you can just drag and drop everything that you've downloaded into Photoshop. So let me show you real time. So I'm open the sky replacement feature. I'm clicking the gear icon. I'm getting more skies and importing the presets. It's gonna navigate automatically to your presets folder, but you've got to go to wherever you drug them when you downloaded them and you just shift click on every single one of those sky files and it auto loads them. Let me close the original ones by clicking that disclosure triangle. So now I have all the new sky packs. Let's take a look at them. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Holy moly, Batman. That is awesome.
I know, right? Let's get back to the lecture. So we have all these new sky packs. I wonder what storms looks like. Hmm, got some good stuff. A little lightning in the background, nice and dramatic. So this is really exciting, but you can also get more skies and import your own skies, which you couldn't do before. So see, I can select this, click open, and now I have my own personal sky that I can bring into this image. Bang, bang, baby. It's a new day. Yeah!